Hi guys, this is Rahul and you are welcome to gomahamaya.com. In this beautiful tutorial, I am going to teach you how to fix Elementor could not be loaded because of some conflict or some reasons. So basically here you will find a reason. When this video especially for the reason where it is not mentioned. In case if it is error related to .stss file and 403 forbidden or some server related errors, you need to contact your server. If your other pages are loading, then we are going to fix it and we'll learn how to fix it. There are like few steps you can do to fix the error. There is no exact way you'll fix it, but there is a way to know what is causing the errors and we'll fix it. So I'm going back to my dashboard. Once you are inside the dashboard, go to Elementor, go to tools. And first step is to enable the safe mode. Click on save change. Now if you refresh the page, you'll see Elementor start working. That means Elementor is getting problem from other plugins or themes. So now we have to test which of the plug plugin or theme is creating problem for my Elementor plugin. So I'm going to disable it. Click on save change. Now go to plugins option. Click on install plugins. And you have to check which plugin you have installed recently. So you need to disable that recent plugin which you installed. Let's say I installed this one. So I'm going to deactivate this. It might be creating uh, errors with your Elementor or you have updated that plugin with the recent update, it might create uh, errors. So uh, you deactivate first one and refresh the page. Again, you deactivate this one and activate your old one. So you'll come to know, okay, fine. This one is creating error. This one is not creating error. Similarly, by this way, I deactivate all my plugins and none of the plugin is creating errors. So my next turn is to go to appearance, go to theme. Now inside theme, click on add new themes and try installing any of the new themes to test whether your front end is working or not. So I'm going to install hello themes from the Elementor itself. I'll click on install, click on activate. Once your theme get activated, go back to your page and refresh it and you'll see the errors got fixed. If it is fixed, then you have to contact the author of the theme. And you have to say there's a conflict in my website because of the Elementor and your theme. Now, how to connect the author of the theme? You know the theme name. Go to Google and type Follox theme and then scroll down it and you'll find WordPress one. Scroll down and click on view support form. First, you need to log into your WordPress dashboard and click on create new topics. If you have purchased any premium theme, go to their support page and ask to fix them. If you still could not able to fix it, please let us know in the comment section or please fill our website contact form so we can help you and fix your errors. If you have any question or query, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.